Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Your website's header is the first thing that visitors see when they land on your website. It's important to make a good impression and provide easy navigation to your site. Square is a powerful website builder that offers great tools for customizing your website's header. In this video, we will show you how to edit the header using Square. Let's get started and learn how to create a professional header that will impress your visitors. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. It's simply, go to the URL section. Go to here or either here, the same works. And search for square, as simple as that. So let's go here and search for square. And let's go to this website as you can see over here. So this is the application. So we can go to this. Um, I just want to get the premium version, uh, not the premium, but the English version. I don't think I'm able to find it. So let me just click on this one and I will click on this one as well. So here, let me just, uh, here it is. Okay, it is in English, very good. Now, all you need to do is get started through here. So click on get started. And now you'll have to sign up on Square. So here, you just have to put your email, confirm it, password, and your local. Now, after you finish with that, you click on continue and you sign into your account. So let me do that real quick and be right back to you guys. So right after I have created my account, I am in this page. So tell us now what you are going to sell. Here, you can choose your selling physical items, menu items, tickets, donations, memberships, or services. Let's choose physical items click on continue how do you plan to fulfill orders so you can allow pickup shipping items allow delivery and much more so you choose whatever you'd like here click on continue and now you will have to choose the best kind of website that you are looking for so here you will have a single shopping page shoppable instagram page or full website plus online store you can choose this one and then go and click on continue here you just have to wait a couple seconds and they will create your own store for you or your own website. So just wait a little bit and they will be it will be ready for you in a couple seconds. Here I am guys. So I have created the account. Next and done. So welcome back. Here you can design your website. You can just click here. And they will take you to a page where you can design the website, edit the menu, edit the look, the images, and everything about it. So what's next? We can click here to skip everything. Uh, here you have to pick a style. Um, I'm really into like this kind of style or this one. So which one should we go for? Okay, let's go with this one. And let's start customizing it. So. As you can see guys, this is the website. And now let me just turn this to desktop mode. You can just go to this icon over here and turn it to desktop. It is completely easy. Let's go now to the normal mode. Here we are. And now you can find here the header where you can change it. If I clicked on it, they will show you these four or five options. So let's start with the logo. Let me just close everything up so we can have everything uh, we can go through everything step by step so let's go to the logo the logo it has three options my logo image or text let's go with my logo in my logo you can choose your own logo from whatever you'd like and add it so for example i have here works for image it is the same but for example here for my logo, it is like an image that I, I have tracked before. So let me, for example, add a new image. And let me add this one for now. So I will drag this one and click on done. At the moment, I will click on replace, click done again. And if I click now on text and I want to image, you'll find the image is now currently as this logo. If I went to my logo, it will be this one. So if I click now on publish, uh, let me just change this to image, click on publish, wait a little bit as it is working now. So let me just now refresh the page and 
literally now if I change and click on my logo it's supposed to like transfer to this one so now it is still on this one uh, because it didn't update yet but overall it will be this one so the latest logo that you have added to the website it will be in the my logo section now here we can add a link to the logo so if they clicked on it they will it will take them to somewhere but most of the people are using it to take them back to the landing page so do that as well because it is really useful if you don't have of course the home button here the navigation where people can see the menu the menu guys is really important to have something really clean simple and gives the information for example your website provides services you will have home services prices and about contacts as simple as that don't make uh, i don't know uh services type services i don't know just put the like the list and the information has to be the most so yeah for example homes i have here news and inside news i will have sports for example as a sub uh, sub menu i will show you how to do that as well so here let me just delete news so now i have only home if i'd like to add any navigation link click on here and then click here create a new page and let's name it news now let's go and save it uh, the page name already exists um let me just name it news 2 and as you can see it here it is now let's create a new page which we're gonna call um for example fashion fashion is a category of news that you are going to have in our website so it doesn't need to be in the main menu it has to be in the sub menu of news what you're gonna do is either drag it and drop it below it as you can see it has been added or just uh, let me just fix that I don't think we can fix it anyway okay we fixed it uh -huh, something wrong that all right so what you can do is click on this add button which is over here choose the page choose now the other page so here it is and then click on save as you can see now news has been added with fashion as its own sub menu this is the things that i wanted to show you in the menu category so make sure to follow these steps and of course in each website it has to have privacy policy in terms uh, uh, in terms of course so you have to add it in here uh, so people when they check your website they will see everything uh, clean you have privacy policy terms and conditions and so on now we add we've, uh, we've finished with navigation and logo now here menu links all caps so here you can make it in capital letter and here you can change the color of the writing itself so it is up to you now the buttons we can either show it or hide it for example shop now we can hide it and remove it or we can show it and make it say something whatever it is and take you to a specific link or website the same goes for icons you can hide them or show them it is like completely editable and you can do whatever you like in here now finally you will find customize in the customize section you will find background light and color here you can change the color and how the actual header is looking like so where the logo is where the menu is and so on and finally here like the background here you can adjust the background as you like you can make it an image something like so or you can make it a color custom color and choose whatever color you'd like something like that and that's completely it so that's how you can change the header of your square website i hope to like i hope you guys like this video thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial